Hello, this is Cody from iSoft, and today I'll be showing you the DLS interface inside of iTrack Enterprise. DLS is a shipping broker. They're able to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of what it'll cost one company versus another company to ship your product from location A to location B. So what did that look like before DLS? Your shipping manager would have to call company one, get a quote for them, call company two, get a quote for them, they'd call five or six companies, and then finally choose the cheapest one. This interface allows you to get that comparison right there and choose whichever one you want. Take a look at the sales screen inside of iTrack Enterprise here. We'll just add the required information. Tony's truck parts. We've got our customer. We'll add an item in. And we'll just make it an engine from some 2002 vehicle. There's our engine. We've got our customer. And inside of the internal comments, we'll say that Tony himself must sign for the engine. So there are two ways that you can access the DLS interface. You can right click and go to get DLS shipping quote, or down at the bottom, you can go to advanced and then get DLS shipping quote here. Now here's the information inside of the DLS interface itself. You can see that it pulled in all the information, the place that we're sending it from, the place we're sending it to, and the notes here, it displays, and if you want to put that on the bill of lading, you just click a button. So we'll select a commodity class, make that a palletized engine, and these things are usually around 2,000 pounds. And we'll just choose a large pallet for this. Now one thing that's really cool here is that if you have a special length that is oversized, then on the extra charges over here, it'll automatically fill that in for you so that there are no surprises. In fact, if it's a construction area or it's in a residential area, those are some extra charges and you can fill all that out right here. One last thing is the lift gate. We'll say that Tony's Truck Parts doesn't have a bay that they can receive this engine, so you'll need to have a lift gate to lower it down to ground level. You can also insure the shipment, and we'll just put $750 for the insurance amount, and we will get the rates. Here's our side-by-side -side comparison. You can see that uh, XPO Logistics versus FedEx or uh, Priority versus Economy. Now, this seems to be the cheapest one, and uh, we want it to be insured, so we'll just click the insured amount. And here's our bill of lading. So you can see that all of the information was automatically passed in for you, including the special instructions that Tony himself must sign for the engine. So we can check that over, and when we're ready, we'll just hit the print button. Now just a few more things I want to show you here. The first is, if you'd like to pass on the cost of the shipping to the customer, in iTrack you can come down to the adjustment type and choose shipping charges. We'll add the amount of the quote and just hit save. Let's look at the settings for the DLS interface. And to do that inside of iTrack, you just go to Edit, Integrations, Shipping Integrations, and here they are. You may have noticed that we were in testing mode, so you can turn that off or on here, and you can even add markup. To sign up for this interface, which is totally free inside of iTrack, you can call us at 1-800-929-1829, extension 3, or you can email us at support at isoftdata.com. Thank you for joining me on this tutorial.